Hey everyone, it's a nice sunny day, or at least it is right now. It was pretty miserable earlier, but I'm just uh, out on a little walk, did a bit of foraging, and um, came across this, which is a really cool plant, which um, is really worth you knowing. Let me find a decent leaf, there you go. So it looks like a pretty normal looking leaf, except for, you see these two little spiky sort of tips pointing backwards. Um, so you can sort of see that on the camera. It makes it look sort of like an arrow shape. It's, that's the back side of it, just those normal little veins there. Just growing in sort of clumps in grassland. And uh, this is a plant called common sorrel, uh, which is a plant that people like to grow in their gardens because um, it tastes really nice. It tastes like zingy and kind of citrusy and that's because it's got loads of oxalic acid in it. And um, yeah, it's a really good wild edible. There's loads of it out there. Um, so uh, if you know what you're doing, um, go and have a little look for it. Two important sort of ones to, to know about as potential lookalikes are meadow bindweed. That kind of goes in a little creeper in the grass with lots of um, leaves that look a bit similar to common sorrel. And another one is called Lords and Ladies, which actually is quite severely irritant. Um, looks a bit different though, bigger leaves, and they're sort of lobes rather than these pointy uh, kind of tips that point backwards. And also if you turn it over the leaf, there's almost like a kind of crazy paving effect on it, and a line all the way around the edge of the leaf. So it looks quite different on the underside. You don't want to make that mistake though, so make sure you know what you're doing if you are going to go out and pick these things. Otherwise, just cool to... Uh, Kind of notice common sorrel brilliant plant uh, just get outside little break in the rain today nice to get outside for a walk all right have a good one bye